Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pointillism painting. Pointillism is a art technique where you make an image uh, by making a bunch of tiny dots. Instead of using a brush or doing cross hatching or doing solid color, you're going to do a bunch of little dots to make your overall image. So we're going to do a pointillism landscape painting but you can watch this technique and make whatever you want from it if you want to switch it up and do something different. So I use the grid technique in this video, um, which is just a technique that I wanted to show. It can be very helpful, but it is optional. So if you don't want to use it, then you can just skip these next few minutes. All right, so let's start by showing you how to make um, a grid on your image if you wanted to use the grid technique which is a way to break it down square by square in your reference image and make it easier to transfer that to your canvas or your paper. So I'm going to make my grid in Photoshop so open up Photoshop create a new project uh, mine is eight and a half by eleven which is printer size paper so you'll want that if you're going to print it out. Alright so go up and click view and then click on rulers to get those rulers to pop up and then we're going to drag down these lines to make a little 5 by 5 inch box and you can use those rulers on the side to see your inches so you can watch and see it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 inches so now we have a little 5 by 5 square and then I'm going to drag my reference image into Photoshop So now I'm going to use the lasso tool just to delete all of that, the extra image coming outside of the 5x5 five five square box. So delete. So you just click, 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 one more click, delete, and there we go. Alright, so make another layer, and then you're going to want to get not the pen tool, but the paintbrush tool because the pen tool wasn't working for me <laughs> and um, make it black or some color that'll stand out and just draw a line on each of those inch uh, lines so I believe you can get those gray grids to show up or you know the gray gridded line that's already there to show up by going to view and then clicking on grid but um, if not, you can also just drag those lines out from your ruler like we did in the beginning. And yeah, so I want my grid to be one inch by one inch squares over this reference image. So I'm just going to draw on each inch line. I'm going to draw that line down until the whole reference image is covered in one inch by one inch squares. All right, then go to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy, and JPEG, Save, and you've got your image. Don't forget to name it. All right, so then when you open it, you can print that out, and it'll be a 5x5 five five image. Mine printed funny, the colors were weird, so I am just I just used my uh, image right off my computer screen. And so in that case, if you make a grid in Photoshop, you can just make your canvas size 5x5. Five five. So I have some canvas paper here, and because my reference image is 5x5 five five and it's a little square, I made my canvas paper 10 inches by 10 inches, so each square is going to be double the size. So I taped down on an artboard, and now I'm using a ruler to draw lines to make a grid on my canvas paper, and the grid will this grid will have squares that will be two inches by two inches, opposed to my reference image, which is one inch by one inch. So I'm just doubling the size. So now I'm just going to use my pencil and sketch in the overall design, just get some of those clouds in there, get the mountain in there, get the river in there, 
just so I'll have a bit of a layout when I start painting. And this is where you'll use that grid technique because you can look at um, each square and kind of line it up with how it looks in your reference to the square in your uh, can on your canvas paper. And you'll be able to break it down to little two inch squares opposed to having your whole entire painting and feeling a bit overwhelmed by all that space. You can break it up into a smaller space. So now I'm mixing a blue color to use as a background because I want to have some color laid down so you won't be able to see the white of the canvas in the final painting. So I'm just putting a layer of that down, uh, watered it down a lot so you could, so I could still see my pencil marks underneath, but if you accidentally end up covering them up, then you can just let that paint dry and you can add another grid and add another sketch on top. But if you add some water to your paint, you should be able to still see your drawing below. So here I sketched in, uh, just made those lines a little darker so I could see them a little better. Now it's time to mix your colors. Um, you're going to want to have all of those mixed before you start painting. So just mix a variety. I ended up mixing about 12 colors. Look at your reference image and just pick out about that many. Remember that mixed colors always look better than straight out of the tube. So we're going to use the end of a paintbrush. So instead of using the end that has all these bristles, I'm going to flip it over and use this round end. But if you have, well, I assume if you have paint, you probably have brushes. But if you want to use something else, you could use like a crayon or end of a pencil or anything that has kind of a rounded edge. Or you can even use a paintbrush and use the end with bristles if you use something kind of like this that's small and round and just dot 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 with that but I use the hard end of one of my paint brushes. So you can imagine what we'll do now just gonna dip that hard end of a paintbrush into the paint and start dotting it right onto your painting. So just go for it. My circles that I made, my little dots that I made from my paintbrush, they're not perfect, they're not all perfectly round, sometimes they're smudgy, and that's okay, that's the fun of it. Um, just glob it on, and just like you would with a normal painting, we're just gonna keep going and layer and layer until it looks finished. So you can use that grid system here as well to figure out where you want to put each color. Uh, it's up to you how much you want to use it. I kind of just used it to get that layout in, but if you want it to be a higher level of realism, you could go one square at a time and really use that grid. So just layer, layer, layer with all those dots. Eventually you're going to have a fully covered painting fully covered pointillism painting. Voila, take off the tape, and there you go.